Well, welcome back to the railroad, everyone. I hope you're all having good holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Today we're going to have a little something different for you. This is an old uh, video that I did a couple years ago. And it's for all the children in all of us. So I hope you enjoy. Be safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you down the rails and God bless. Well, ho, 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 welcome to my toy shop, everyone. Toy trains, that is. I'm uh, playing Santa's helper this year. Santa has had a little bit of a disturbing time. He, he's lost some stuff, and um, he can't find it. Him and his good friend Rudy, you'll meet Rudy in a little bit. I've been trying to help him look for this thing, but I just can't find it here. So, um... Without any further, let's go see what uh, what it is that Santa's lost. Well, the first thing I guess you should know about Santa is he and Rudy like to go to the train club breakfast at Denny's every first and third Wednesday of the month. Here at the train club breakfast, you're going to find people like Fred and Pat Brown, Marge Curtis, Beth and Don McLaren, Mary and Ray Mitchell, Dwight Mallett, and here on the very end is Norm Ballinger. Of course, Santa and Rudy like to travel pocket class. Santa's morning rarely began without a cup or more of coffee. This is due to the fact that both his job and person were more focused on the nighttime traveling activities. But, for coffee and breakfast, for those, he would wake up early. Of course, coffee had to have a couple of spoonfuls of chocolate. Everyone knows he loves his hot chocolate. And, of course, he shares with Rudy. With his morning chocolate slash coffee supplied, it was time to set in on breakfast. Santa quickly sat about working his spoon to get a good share of the food for him and his friend and faithful companion, Rudy. Uh, Rudy happens to be a canine cousin to Rudolph, by the way. With the train club breakfast over and the coffee gone, so was Santa, off on his way home to prepare for his nighttime travel around the world. Home, of course, should be where the presents are. However, when Santa got home, the three that he'd left in charge to watch his sack of presents had bad news for him. The sack of presents was nowhere to be found. The three told Santa that they would stay there and watch in case the sack of presents did reappear, and they would let him know. Santa and Rudy talked and decided that they should start scouring the entire area and see if they could find Santa's bag of presents. They first decided to question Mr. Bones as he had been sitting there the entire time. Mr. Bones was usually mistaken for a Halloween decoration. This allowed Mr. Bones to have a high degree of knowledge of the goings-on in the area. Unfortunately, Santa was one of those who would forget about Mr. Bones. This led Mr. Bones to answering Santa's questions with his characteristic silence. With his lack of success, Santa turned to one of the few whom Mr. Bones considered a friend. Santa was sure that Mr. Bones had seen or heard something. Rudy, Santa hoped, would be able to have a better time getting answers. Of course, Rudy usually had the opposite problem to what most experienced when talking with Mr. Bones. While others could rarely get him to talk, Rudy couldn't get him to shut up. Usually, the best he could do was to steer the conversation. Luckily, he had already heard what he needed to hear. Now he just had to find a chance to excuse himself. Santa got bored, so bored that he started doing push-ups. Actually, in all of Rudy's and Mr. Bone's conversation, the only thing that Mr. Bones told him was that one minute the bag was there, next it was gone. Poof! Mr. Bones, of course, thought that it might be Krampus. Santa and Rudy, not believing that it was Krampus, decided to search the land. First, they looked from the lighthouse, and nothing. 
Next, they tried looking at the fish pond, and again nothing. Then they went higher, to the top of the ranger station. Again, nothing. They checked the end of the rail line, and found nothing there either. With depression setting in, they walked the entire helix, and again nothing. They went to the fantasy train, and talked with the crew, Mickey, some dwarves, and some minions. And again, no one had seen the bag of toys. Not even the fairy elf, uh, excuse me, fairy princess, and her mother. Their last desperate attempt was the Christmas turtle. And lo and behold, there was the bag of toys. It turned out that Mrs. Claus had actually forgot a couple of kids' toys. So she took the bag back with her, put the toys in it, and brought it back to the Christmas turtle. Well, everyone, thank you, and uh, I hope you enjoyed our little skit here with Santa and Rudy. And um, just remember, it's a great time of the year. I hope you're all healthy and happy, and we look forward to seeing you down the rails. Thanks now. Well, I hope you all enjoyed Santa and Rudy, and uh, I probably won't have any other videos for the rest of this year, but I'm working on new videos for 2021. Let's all hope 2021 is a great year. We'll get things straightened out and back on a good even path. So uh, be safe, stay healthy, God bless, we'll see you down the rails.